Hi everyone, this is Natraj. I am back with another video. Today I am going to talk about that rotate the service account keys using Terraform. Service account is that non human account used by that application. In most of the case, application generally to authenticate the service account used by that private key is called as that service account keys. So service account key is a similar type of user account password. If you do not manage this keys carefully, it may be that security risk. So the GCP is highly recommended to rotate the, your keys on regular basis as to reduce your risk to your system in case of the keys the leakage. GCP does not provide with that support rotation of the service account keys by default. We have to take that necessity action to based on that our company standards. There are the best practice that reduce the security risk. We can see that one by one. The first one is that rotating the keys regularly. So this is a mandatory to rotate your keys regular basis. Otherwise, it probably to your application maybe it can hack. Next one is that do not share your keys between the user. So generally, what happen if you are sharing the key to anyone? Maybe they can misuse. You cannot able to predict that one. Next one is that do not store the key into the source code repository. So if you are maintaining that keys in the source code, if you are sharing that repository to someone. Maybe can able to misuse your keys also. Next one is that do not store the key on the file system. Don't storing any password, any keys in your local machine. If anything goes wrong in your complete file systems, we could not able to recover at all. Next one is that using the service manager to store the key and using the IMA role to control that your security keys. So that is the best practice that whenever you are creating any keys, your best way to store that secret manager. Or there is a Hatchcock vault also will be there, so you can maintaining that centralized uh, based security management to controlling the entire things. So we are moving to that our Visual Studio Code. We can see that our Terraform part. We are at the Visual Studio Code. The entire code is available on my repository. You can clone from any time. You can see the left hand side. This is my Terraform tree structures. We can see the file one by one. The first one is that main dot tier file. The first resource we are going to create at that uh, Google service account. I am assigning the name called uh, Cloud Root Seven Service Account. The next resource is that Time Rotation. This particular block forced to recreation uh, whenever that given period is has been passed. Next resource is that Google service account keys. This particular resource we are used to manage and creating our service account key pair, which allow to. The user can be able to establish that identity of the service account of that GCP. Next parameter is that public key types. Basically, we are creating the PEM file called. Uh, uh, this is a types of uh, PEM file. Next block is that uh, keeper block. This keeper block generally holding that uh, our time rotation resource reference. The next file is the provider.tf file. In this required provider block uh, is a necessity. Uh, Source and version I define uh, corresponding that uh, Terraform uh, standard. Uh, basically, here this it can interacting to that our GCP console. Next one is that provided Google. Here one of that parameter is that credentials. Uh, right now I'm pausing with the JSON. I'm creating the necessity permission to allow to create my service account. Also, I defining that projects and zones is according to my project locations. Next file is that uh, terraform.tf horse. It's basically, I'm pausing my variables. Next one is that variable.tf file. This particular file it will be containing the variables. The first one is the project IDs and the region I'm defining here. Another file is called uh, git.ignors. Basically, that I'm ignoring that uh, some couple of files uh, while pushing to my repositories. So we are moving to the terminal to executing this entire terraform operations. So I'm going to click the three dot. Then I open with the new terminal. So now I'm going to executing the Terraform init command to download my plugins. Yeah, plugin is successfully initialized. Then I'm going to executing the Terraform plan command to validate my syntax. It's look good. So then I am going to executing my Terraform apply command. So 
so just a given that uh, user input is yes yeah successfully the terraform operation is executed we are moving to that gcp console so right now i am at my project i am going to click the three dots uh, here you can go to click that ima admins then i can click on that uh, service account so this is my name i defining in the service account so just i clicking this one yeah you can go to the key sections yeah you can see that the key creation dates suppose you want to uh, change the key regular basis for more than that 10 days so directly you can go to that our terraform code and uh, you can make it that 10 and i am saving the file again i am executing the terraform apply command now the key is going to that regenerated you can see the thing this is for date of rotation is 5 to the 10 just like given the user input is yes yeah terraform job is successfully completed so i'm moving to that gcp console just you refresh the page Yeah, now the new keys appeared. This is one of the way we can easily to rotate our keys. I hope this video will be useful to everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye.